Okay, guys. So the hot question of the night is going to be, how do we create business builders? You know, that's like a question we constantly ask everyone. Okay, on the national income call, but how do you create a business call, business builder? But how do you find those business builders? How do you do that? You know, there's two ways. And I'm going to tell you those two ways right now. Gut check it and be ready. One, you invite to the coaching opportunity. How many of you are actually inviting people to coach? Not just join your challenge group, but coach. The second way is when they say yes to this wonderful opportunity of joining your challenge group and they get so pumped up. They're like, yeah, I want to do this. You ask them the simple question. Do you want to do this for a month? Or do you want to do this for a lifetime? And when they say they want to do it for a lifetime, they want to create this healthy habit, that's when you find the success. That's when you can get them, you pull them in, pull them close to the fire, and you help grow that business builder. Most of the time, you're not going to find those. Those are unicorns. Business builders are unicorns. You can create them though. And that's what I learned at NLC. It was this moment of Dang, I just need to start creating them. I need to invite them to the opportunity and then create them from there. So I want you to drop in the chat right now. What gets you nervous to invite to the coaching opportunity? What are those feelings you start to feel that maybe you're like, oh, I'm not going to invite them to this coaching opportunity, not the challenge group opportunity. Why do you not send those coach invites out? Awesome. Yep. The monthly fee. Will they find it worth it? Do you think they're just going to think you're selling them something? They feel like it's a trap. Maybe it's a mistake they won't be happy with. They don't want to do what you're doing. The fear of not being needed. Will they think it's worth it? Will they think I'm a bad coach? Y'all, these are all the feelings. Let me tell you, you're not alone in these feelings. It is so true. And I will be right there alongside you. For me, I get this nervous feeling in my stomach. And I'm like, I don't know how to coach. How I don't know how to coach. And that's such a lie. That's such a lie in your mind that you keep telling yourself because you know how to coach. The thing is, you have to believe it. You have to just start doing it. You have to practice to get better. So I'm like, how the heck do I coach? How do I, you know, make this opportunity seem fun when in my mind, this isn't for the week. This is for the people who are willing to work, who have a work ethic. You can create, you can build a worth ethic into someone, but ultimately that's what stops me from inviting people. Like, can they handle the work that it takes to be successful? And if you want to be successful, then by gosh, golly, you can be successful. It's never too much work. Because let me tell you, how many of you right now stay up a little late planning those lesson plans? How many of you stay up a little late emailing that last person from work, emailing your boss? How many of you stay up and have to answer questions to that coworker who asked you something? How many of you stay a little bit later at the hospital because you want to give that one patient a little bit more attention. You put in the work for a real job. This is just as important. So when I was doing this this weekend, I was like, oh, I can put in the work. Someone else can put in the work. It's no more work than your normal job would be. And when you love what you do, it's fun. I wake up every day excited to come and do my beach body work. Like I get pumped up compared to what I was when I was teaching. So guys, you just gotta show others that this opportunity is worth it and putting in the work will be worth it, okay? So let's dive in, let's talk about onboarding and you're gonna need a pencil and paper because I'm gonna like word bomb on you. I have kind of like a end the note, like PowerPoint slide, but I'm not gonna start off with that, okay? Cause I want you guys to listen and absorb over just writing down what I have on my slides, okay? So 
let's go. First things first is you got to sign a coach. <laughs> That's how you just got to simply invite them to the opportunity and bring that energy. And when they say um, yes, ask them their goals. You're doing this just like you would sign up a challenger. You ask them their goals. Guess what? You're going to do the same thing for your coaches. You're going to ask them their goals. You've never worked with them before probably. So you need to ask them their fitness goals, their nutrition goals. And you also need to dive into what might be their income goals. That's, that's the kicker. No one knows about the income if you don't tell them that they can make something. Okay, guys. So this means dive into it and kind of depict them, ask them when you say income goal, maybe what does $50 extra a month do for you? What about $50 extra a week for you? What could that do? Ask them the simple questions because $50 doesn't sound like a lot, but guess what? That's a date night. I get to take me and David out. That's groceries I get to put on my table. That is getting my nails done and not having to ask for it. Those are things that I get to do for myself because I earn that money. That money is mine. So those are the fun treats of it. And people don't think about that. So plant that little seed in their mind, okay? From there, I want you to dive deeper into their goals and ask them why. What can this do for you? How can this change your life? What do you have to become in order to continue going towards your goals? And then... The last question that you're going to ask them as they get started, and you're just giving this to them. You ask the questions. It's not verbal yet. They get to think silently. So I have a graphic that I will share with you guys, and you guys can use that. But this is something they're doing on their own. And then you ask them the question, what can you gain from this opportunity? That's the one that's going to be the emotional feel, that's gonna be the one that you provoke these feelings of excitement and energy and, and help them kind of feel like, oh my goodness, can I do it? But then that's when you step in and say, yes, you can. I am right there with you every step of the way. So um, like Kristen said, she said, um, you ask them about their obstacles. So what might be a bump in your road too? So that's also something that you can talk about from there. As they message you back all these wonderful goals, or maybe they just take a picture of it and send it to you, set up a one-on-one -on -one with them. A one-on-one -on -one is so important. You get to hear their heart, you get to hear their ambitions, and then they get to hear your energy, okay? You get to be excited for them. You get to um, believe, breathe, believe, breathe belief into them. And then you get to just be excited for what the opportunities they can do with this, okay? With this business, there's so many things, but do they know that if we don't talk about it? No. So always remember that their goals are your goals and the best coaches are going to be the ones you help to reach their goals. So their goals are so important to you. Um, then you also want to talk when they start talking about fears, because like everyone, they will have fears. I have fears. You have fears. Break them down and kind of flip the script. So when they say, but I don't want to post on my social media. I don't know what my friends are going to think of me. Say, but think about all those people that you can help from that. And then tell them how, who helped you get started. You can have that great impact right there from your get starting point. Or you can tell them about someone you got to help get started. So it's crucial that they know that their fears are limiting them and they shouldn't be because there's so many amazing opportunities out there. Now you have their goals, you've talked to them. I want you to kind of scaffold it. So if they say, okay, I think I can kind of do this coaching thing. What else do I need to do? Then that's when you get to dive in and talk about the business activity tracker. If they say they don't want that and they're like, I'm not ready for that. You planted the seed where there's an opportunity for them. Okay, you never have to push someone into this. Sometimes people aren't ready for it and that's fine, but invite them to all the opportunities. So when you have team calls, when you have book clubs, when you have virtual workouts, invite them to the opportunity so they can see the fun in coaching, but you don't have to pressure them to coach and fill out the tracker. For those who do say they want to dive in 
to being a coach. And they're like, okay, I want to dip my toes into this. I would like some extra money. What do I have to do? This is when you get to pull out the tracker and go through it with them. So I'm going to share my screen real quick with you guys. Uh, that's not the right one. Okay. So Brittany at one point, and I always go back to these. I don't know why I've never actually saved them onto my own computer, but we have these awesome scaffolding trackers. They break it down so simple. So like when a coach is, there was just a coach one, but so we have our push to Emerald one. There is one where it's just like, take care of yourself as a coach, which is perfectly okay. I need to put that in there. I just put the wrong picture, but there is one for that. So your first one is if those people just want to take care of themselves, hand them this tracker, kind of give them the idea of what they can do. So that means, are they drinking their shakes? Are they working out? Are they um, listening to some personal development? Just the basics of having an overall strong physical and mental and emotional and spiritual circle. Okay, guys, that's the very basic one. Then you can guide them into and just run down. So this is the idea. We are going to start new conversations with people because we got to get the word out there. You share your favorite coffee. Why not share your favorite workouts? Invite someone. This can be a family member. It can be someone who commented on your post and said they really liked that you were working out. You can invite them. And then also make sure you're, we're posting on social media and kind of engaging so we can get those engagements so people know what we're doing. You can't invite someone if they don't know what you're doing. So that's the, like the very basic one. If they are fire and they're like, I think I can do a little bit more than that. You can take it even a step further. Okay, here's what my Emerald coaches do. This is the first rank in Beachbody. This is what they do. And it's my expectation for them so that they can start new conversations and they only invite two more people. How unintimidating is that? You went from one to two. Oh, I think I can do that. Then um, I'll just show them all of it, it depending on like their feel. This is like, you gotta feel your people out, okay? So then you could show them the diamond one and then what your diamond coaches do just so they can see in comparison kind of what's the difference. At this point, they might not even think ranked means anything. They're like, oh, six invites. I can talk to six people and invite them to this opportunity. Different people, you know, if you got an extrovert, that person might say, okay, I can do this. You might have an introvert and they might want to be like, okay, I can do two invites. It doesn't matter. You're working with the working and that's the awesome part. So after that first one-on-one -on -one call, you need to dive in with them and keep them super close to the fire. Like they want to feel hot. They want to know that you're right there with them. And so this is when you are going to do daily check-ins with them. You're going to just say, hey, did you get your workout in? Or did you want to join on our virtual gym? This might be when you send them a quick Snapchat of you drinking your Shakeology or whatever they ordered me. You can the performance you just send in a picture of that, showing them that that's fun, that you're drinking your shake too. Um, you can show them your tracker and be like, hey, I invited someone today. Did you invite someone today? It's just about making it fun because what is coaching? It's You guys are all up here because you think it's fun. It is. It truly is. Why are you here? Because you like the community. Why are you here? Because you love the workouts. Why are you here? Because you enjoy what you do. So make it that way show them that they can love what they do as well so i love that's like the biggest aspect is like showing that coach is fine that it can be so simple and by you keeping them close to the fire and doing those daily check-ins you know if they're doing the work or not if they are a go-getter or not you know if they can handle your next push so you're doing that you're going to set up another one on with them for your one the week after just to check in with them hey what do you need for me how's it going do you see yourself discuss you know just discuss the goals that you can set up with them can i push you a little bit harder can i get you to do two invites this week can i ask you to share in our bot group if they weren't already i don't know why they wouldn't be but if they weren't can i ask you to do that can i get you to comment on some people's posts inside our bot group in surrounding them with support just the ideas like the natural things that we do as coaches make it sound simple because it is. 
And then the last thing is if they are being rock stars and they like invited and they're like, I can do this because you're going to have people who after you breathe that belief into them, they're going to think they are on top of the world. I know I still get texts from some of you guys. Hey, I just sent my five invites out. Heck yeah. Way to go. That's what I'm going to tell you. Hey, I just did this workout. I love that. What was your favorite part about it? It's just asking the questions and encouraging them and saying you're excited for them. We're just cheerleaders. And I love that about this because I get to empower you guys. You guys empower me. It's a give and take of just empowerment. We're not tearing each other down. And then when you hit that second one-on-one -on -one call and you're just like, dang, you're doing so awesome. Let me discuss rank with you. So break down Emerald and how easy it is to get there, but don't stop there. Go to Diamond. Diamond is just as easy to get there. If they sign two coaches the first month, who says they can't sign two coaches the second month? And who says they can't sign two more the third month? And in 90 days, they hit diamond. That's freaking amazing. It's that easy. But you got to show them it's that easy. We put this like high pedal stool that diamond's so hot, so hard to get there. It's not. Don't start them off saying it's hard to get there. It's not. It's easy. Let me show you how you're going to get there and what you can do to get there. So guys, our ultimate goal is to go through this creating a mentorship. So we wanna be able to sign two to four coaches ourselves each month so that when we do have those two to four coaches and they're going through our onboarding process, we can put them in a pod filled with energy and excitement and you can be excited in there. And those girls who are working are gonna rub off on those girls who might have been hesitant. We can put them in this pod where they can feed off of each other, where they can ask questions together, where they can see that, oh, that girl already signed someone. I can do that too, I think. Let me keep inviting. That's the importance of that. So that's our mentorship. And that would be the awesome opportunity when you sign two to four coaches. Okay. So goal is always two to four coaches a month. And then just remember, friends, it takes about one month to really get them excited. And it's that first month, that first month that we get to dive in and give them that energy and show them that you can do this. It's that planting this of the seed that gives them the belief that they need. It's the first time they get exposed to the opportunity. It's the doors that they get to open and feel excited about what's going to happen. What will they be able to do? Because now they have hope, they have visualization. Now they get to understand that there's a future outside of just their normal day job. So as coaches, we got to bring the energy. We got to get excited. We have to show them that we are here for them, that we do this every day. We love it. Let me show you why I love it. Let me help you show that to others because this is a business and we get to show up and inspire others that we never thought we could before, okay? So right now in the chat, I want you to tell me how many coaches you're going to sign this month. I love it, Nicolette. Two, four, Annie. Yes, girl. Two, three, two. I love it. Also, here is my wonderful slide thing, but I'm going to share, I'm going to real quick um, share with you guys this one screen to kind of walk through the idea of it. Okay. So what I copied is just the slides right here. And so this is like you're setting your goals. So it, they can write on it. Um, I recommend them printing it out, but you print one out too. So when you go on your one-on-one -on -one with them, you go in and they tell you their 30 day goal, you write it out. Their one year commitment goal, you write it out. They already have it out. And then their income goals. And then write out their whys. And then write out what they will gain. Then you need to take them on this journey of their health and wellness. And this is kind of where you're gonna talk about the fears that they have and you're gonna flip them. So I would, I gave examples right here, there's examples. Um, you might only want one example and not like so many because you don't wanna put those fears already in their head that it's like scary to invite, scary to, um, you don't want to feel like you're bothering people. So this is just some of them, but don't give them all of them. Don't put that fear in their head. Um, 
but that's kind of the idea where you get to flip the switch for them and help them see that it, you don't have to think of it that way because those aren't your people then. And then this kind of teaches them the idea of like expanding your network and kind of branding yourself. So I have that right there. It goes through them like, how do you attract your people? And like, this is based off what you like. Like I like soccer, okay? So I might go find someone who likes soccer as well. And then here's like a posting idea of what they can post for their first week to make it less intimidating. So Sip It Sunday could be their drinks, Motivation Monday, Tip Tuesday, Workout Wednesday, Thankful Thursday. So just ideas to get them going and take away the fear of those actual posting ideas of like, I don't know what to post. Guess what? I, I thought of it for you. Then um, weekly meal plan so that they're sticking to their nutrition kind of deal right there because that's also important on top of being a coach. And that's all I really have for you. Um, I do have this where you can those trackers I put on there right here as well. Okay, that's all 